I have always been competitive. And because of my competitive nature, I was great at sports. I never believed in quitting. I would fight to the end. I could be bleeding, broken limbs and all, and I would still play. My mom said she didn't raise no quitters. <laughs> my sister and I proved that to be true. Now, my mom was at almost every one of me and my sister's games. And if she wasn't there, then my dad was there. I had great parents. My dad died when I was in college and I was worried that my mom wouldn't survive. Not only did she survive, but she thrived. She started her own business and she started dating. But she was doing amazing things nevertheless. And when the grandkids came along, she was the best grandmama ever. And then things started to change. She started losing her keys constantly. At first, we didn't think nothing of it. I mean, who doesn't lose their keys? But then she forgot to pay her light bill and her car note. It wasn't that she didn't have the money. She just forgot to pay them. And that was kind of strange. I mean. Mom was always great with money. Dad always had mom take care of the money matters, paying all the bills. And then one day, she was going to church and she got lost. My mom has gone to the same church for over 50 years and she got lost. That's when my sister and I knew that something was wrong. So I convinced her to go to a doctor. The first doctor said that it was just age. I mean, mama was turning 74 and with age, we forget some things. So, okay, sure. Then my sister told me that Ma had been in a couple of fender benders and she would trade in her car and get another one just like it so that people would know that she was in an accident. Now, that was really strange. Then there was a time I got a call from the police that my mama was walking down the street in her pajamas and no shoes, thinking she was going to work. Yeah, I knew it wasn't just age. So we got a second opinion. And the next doctor, he told us it was dementia. Dementia shows itself in a, a lot of different forms. She had been suffering for years and we didn't even know. Why didn't we know? Why didn't we see the signs? Or, or were the signs there and we just didn't pay attention to them? I knew things had to change. She couldn't live alone anymore. So I sold my house and I moved in with mom. It was crazy being back in my childhood home as an adult, taking care of my mama like she's five years old. But she and I both knowing She's 74. Sometimes she would talk to me like I was in elementary school. One morning, she woke me up at 3 a.m. to get dressed to go to school. School didn't start until eight and we lived two blocks from it. Oh, it was Saturday and I'm grown. <laughs> That's when I knew something about this wasn't right and it wasn't gonna be easy. Y'all, I've done a lot of things in my life that I thought I'd never do. I got married, it didn't last, but, but I did it. <laughs> I traveled around the world from, from Canada to Europe, to Africa, to South America. For my 40th birthday, I jumped out of a perfectly good plane But one thing I never thought I would have to do is change my mama's diaper. There's some things a, a son should never have to do or see. And it's, it's hard for me to say, but I've, I've gotten kind of good at it. Now my sister's on her way to the house because we got to find a nursing home for mom. I can't take care of her by myself anymore. 
although I, I, I have some help during the day, I'm not sleeping at night. My, my blood pressure is up. I jump at every little sound and mama can barely walk. I literally eat, sleep and breathe my mother. Now that, don't get me wrong. I love this woman. I would die for this woman. If I could switch places with her, I would. I just can't anymore. I had to pass up a promotion for work because I can't be gone but so long. My sister almost broke up with her husband when his job moved him across the country. She wanted to stay, but I told her to go. I mean, one of us needs to have a life. Oh yeah, and I drink. At night, I drink. I'm not a drunk and it's, it's not time for me to start going to AA meetings, but I need a drink just to calm my nerves. When she starts calling me by my dad's name and gets mad that I don't remember every detail about something they did, you should remember it, he, you were there. Stop acting like you weren't. Breaks my heart. I was always told I looked like my dad, but it's gone on to the next level. I hate that we have to put mom in a nursing home. I had promised her that I wouldn't do it. But I'm at the point now that I have no choice. Does that make me a bad son? Does that mean that I'm going to hell for doing this to my mama? My stress level is at a thousand. I've lost my hair and I found gray hair in places that I shouldn't have gray hair. Not that it matters. I mean, I ain't been on the date in so long that I don't think I know how it even works anymore. At night when I pray, I don't know what to pray for. Do I do I pray that mom gets better? And even though I, I know that that won't happen. Or, or do I pray that the Lord takes her away from here? Takes her out of her, out of her pain. Is that selfish? Just putting my mama in a home, make me a quitter. I've heard the sayings. Once, once an adult and, and, and twice a child. I didn't get it before. But I get it now. <laughs>